Alright, so let's start it. Centuries go. This has to be right up there oh, with yes. the best of them because today we are celebrating the 100th birthday, Steady Con, <laughs> of the great Rolls Royce. Yes, we are, and I'm driven. lucky enough to be behind the wheel of the most historic and important Rolls Royce in the world, the Silver Ghost. It was built in 1914, and get this, guys, it's yeah. worth a staggering great. one million pounds. Great. Well driven. Well, thanks yeah. for the lift. <laughs> now then, when Charles Rolls and Henry Royce met up for lunch at the Midland Hotel in Manchester on the 4th of May 1904, they agreed to manufacture a range of the greatest cars the world would ever see. Yes, now Mr Rolls was the salesman and Mr Royce was the engineer. Now Mr Royce despised radiator mascots, but after much persuasion, the specially created spirit of ecstasy was deemed to be a fitting emblem to grace the world's most luxurious motor cars and it's adorned all Rolls Royce cars ever since just like this magnificent phantom of love. Had to have a little tweak on the horn. Now, the uh, Rolls-Royce partnership lasted only six years because Mr. Rolls was killed in a flying accident. But the company went on to power the most advanced machines on land, at sea and in the air. And today, their jet engines still power many of the world's biggest airliners, including the recently retired Concorde. Yes, now feast your eyes on this. It's only a limited edition Rolls Royce Phantom and it's destined to become one of the most sought after luxurious cars in the world. And if you have a look inside, you'll see why. Hello, Mr. Baker. <laughs> Hello. Now, this really is one of the nicest cars that you could ever wish to sit into the back of. It's absolutely gorgeous. Still comfortable. Look at the uh, lovely lamb's wool rug there. And onto the door, we've got the aluminium trim and even elm wood. And uh, if it happens to be raining when you get out the back of this Rolls, all you do is put push this button and out pops a brolly. Now many famous people have a Rolls Royce in their garage, just like Jennifer Lopez, JK, and I think Beyonce has got one as well. Ah, indeed, but if you are an aspiring owner then you better start saving your pennies right now. But in the meantime, this miniature model could be yours for a mere £3,000. Hello Scarlett. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, I wonder what one would look like outside my house in Norwich. Very nice. Offset the cottage beautifully. Anyway, let's bring myself quickly back to reality because earlier this morning I was out in the Blue Peter Garden to make sure our gardener Chris Collins has everything under control for our summer break. Chris, lovely to be out in the garden with you. And certainly, Simon. You've brought a nice day with you. Well. I have brought the sunshine. Which is always good. What have you got up for us today? Well, I've been looking at this barbecue patio, and it's a little bit on the grubby side, isn't it? It's seen better days, I think it'd be fair to say. The uh, barbecue may be suffering one or too many drippy burgers. I think you're right. <laughs> I think it needs a clean. We've got a pressure jet here, which is okay. a good tool for this. Good news. So I've got the broom. We can give it a good clean, I reckon. Before the broom, should we make some room? Yes, we've got, we've got these pots, pots here. Yeah. You put this rather large one up on wheels. So that means that, uh, I'll make just sail it out of the way. Yep. And the, uh, the busy Lizzie's in this one have been quite Looking busy by the look of it. Yep. They look fantastic. And they'll flower pretty well continually. Really? Yep, as will this pot here of bedding, which is Cosmos and Fuchsia. That'll flower for the whole summer. They're looking lovely. Yep. So you mean when we come back in September, they'll still be looking pretty good? Yep, I reckon so. Okay. Yep. Out of the and, way. Uh, and then we've got.